Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so tanpa membuang masa, di sini kami ada membawa satu lagi model terbaru keluaran daripada The Minator FX. So this model is quite different daripada model yang sebelum ini. The previous model is the FX 620. So the this one yang kami bawa masuk ini is the FX 820. Okay, the the uh, ada sedikit perbezaan antara the previous one dan yang the latest ini. So the latest ini, alright, as you can see, this is the box. Okay, this is how the packaging looks like. And then we have on top, which is ini. So basically, you can just grab on this um, handle. Dapat dibawa ke mana-mana. So it says here age 14 plus. So umur uh, 14 tahun ke atas sesuai untuk main this RC. Okay, uh, the specification yang kena begitu di sini. The weight, uh, barat ni 38 gram, panjangnya 380 mm. The wingspan is 290 mm. Okay, so uh, on this side, it says this RC is 2.4 G. Okay, two channel, and then it's made up of EPP material. So it's a type of styrofoam yang tahan sedikit lah, compared to yang styrofoam yang biasa saja. So Nothing much lagi akan dilihat Even though di belakangnya This is how it looks like So let's move on to Apa yang kita yang dapat lihat di dalamnya Alright Let's see So This is how it looks like Apa yang bisa kita dapat Once Bisa kita beli dari kami So we have one user manual Okay this is the user manual We have This packaging Okay, we have the remote control. This is the remote control, and we have the aircraft. Okay, and we have the two uh, two wings. Uh, these two wings will be installed ara di atasnya. We'll see that later. All right. So let's see first. Apa saja ada ara manualnya. Okay, di sini let's just uh, pick some important points saja. Yeah? Okay, let's see the feature. Okay, this. RC aircraft, okay. Uh, the assembling of the uh, barang-barang itu, kalau bis kita akan memasang, it won't take any more than two minutes, alright. Sekejap saja. And then for the battery, it says here it requires about one hour, satu jam untuk recharging the battery. Kalau sekiranya battery baterinya itu fully drain, okay. And then it says here uh, it is made up of EPP material, so Basically, it is uh, impact resistance lah. Kalau sekiranya terkena dinding ke, atau gugur dari, I mean, atau gugur mengantak ke lantai ke ya. So, it's very durable lah. Tahan sedikit. Okay. And then, what else? Okay. Point number five here, it says built-in gyroscope. So, basically, this RC aircraft has its uh, built-in gyroscope untuk uh, menstabilkan masa habis kita akan main the RC aircraft. What I mean by that is actually, okay, this is the RC. Of course, kalau bis kita akan main angin dari depan, alright. So with the gyroscope itu installed di dalam ini, so you won't have the RC ini macam bis kita akan the direction bis kita akan tuju itu ke depan, so it won't do like this. So with the gyroscope, it will stay like even though ada angin dari depannya, alright. So that's it. So that's what it meant by gyroscope tadi tu. And then what else? I think dia yeah. okay. Uh, the control distance approximately 100 meter, kurang lebih 100 meter or boleh lebih sedikit. Tapi I would advise jangan main terlalu jauh. Why? Because in case kalau sekiranya signal loss boleh jadi RC bis kita ni hilang masuk ke dalam hutan. Alright. So the other point is the flight time. Okay, so biskit, kalau bis kita charging the battery itu fully charge. Okay, the maximum flight charge approximately 15 minutes or more. Sedikit, alright. 15 minutes ataupun lebih sedikit. Alright. I think that's all uh, from the user manual. So inside this packaging. We have few things. Okay, let's see one by one. So, inside this packaging, we have one battery for the aircraft. Okay, and we have one USB charger for the battery. So, how you do it? 
is basically just connect this battery to this socket all right like that and then at this end kita masukkan arah USB adapter or you can just use your uh, untuk charging mobile base kita tu pun boleh juga so you just plug it in and then just wait until battery ni fully charge ok other than that we have we have uh, two landing gears so this landing gear is untuk di belakang and then this landing gear untuk di depan Alright, so we have two landing gears, and also the last one we have two extra propellers, dua extra kipasnya. So in case when bus kita main, tiba-tiba kipas yang ada darah, yang ada darah aircraft itu hilang. So no worries, you can just use this one. So we have di sini ada label, bukan bus kita pasang tam-tam sini ya. We have this one ada label sini A2. If I know, I'm not sure if bus kita dapat lihat atau tidak. So there is A2, and then the other one is B2. So, what I mean by that is, on this aircraft, ada label di sini. This is A. Alright, on the right side sini is A. On the left sini is B. So A goes to A, and then B goes to B. Alright. So, now let's move on to remote controlnya. So this is how the remote control looks like. As you can see di sini ada logo FX, alright. We have the FX logo, and we have a bit of design di sini. And basically, remote ini is just for basic flight control. On the left side ini is for the speed controller. If you adjust it paling bawah, it is the lower speed or zero speed. And then when you push towards ke atas, it is the maximum speed. Okay, yang sebelah kanan ini is for turning right or turning left. That is the only control. And then we have this LED indicator for uh, pairing ataupun pairing the RC with the remote control. Okay, so this is the power on button. So this is the remote control. And then on the back side, okay, this is the battery compartment. The battery compartment di sini ni, ia memerlukan tiga biji battery berukuran double A, one point five volt sebiji. Okay, so one point five double A, one point five double A, and then one point five volt double A. Alright, so tiga biji battery. So that's it. And then let's move to the aircraft. So. When this aircraft datang dari supplier, I don't know why, dorang cabut or dorang uh, make the wing yang di atas ani benda bawa pasang. I guess maybe because of due to uh, packagingnya kali lah, supaya ia sanang dorang packaging. Maybe for the sake of that kali. So uh, anyway, ini pelang payah ni kalau kan masang. What you can do is basically this is the wing kan. You just insert it ke lubangnya, and then just slide it ke depan. Okay, masuk, and then slide it ke depan. Same goes with yang sebelah sini. So, so since we have two of this, two of this wing, so it doesn't matter which one goes to which. Okay, this one boleh kemari, or this one boleh kemari. Either way, but not the propellers yang tadi. The propellers tadi it must be like A goes to A, B goes to B. Okay. Let me show you how to install the wing dulu. Masukkan ke dalam. Alright. You insert it ke dalam. Then you push it towards ke depan. That's it. And then the other one, sama juga. Masuk ke dalam. And then push it ke depan. That's it. So it's already been installed. This is how it looks like. Okay. Now, let's see apa ada di bawahnya. So dari bawah sini, we have two motors, okay? Ani kira engine nya lah, alright? So and then we have dua lubang di sini. This is the first hole, 
and this is the second hole into apa this is for the landing gears how you install the landing gears is basically simple saja this is the landing gear untuk di belakang you just insert ke sini then push it ke dalam alright just push it and then the other one ini untuk yang di depan masukkan kemari and push it ke dalam Okay, so the landing gear sudah di install, and then we have battery compartment untuk aircraft. Okay, this is where you put in the battery, and then we have the uh, on-off switch di sini. Okay, and then we have the socket untuk LED. So for your information. This packaging does not include your punya uh, LED strip, so bis kita boleh pakai LED strip atau from the previous model yang model 620. You can just, I think you can just uh, either modify sedikit or I think it should be like plug and play saja lah. Cabut daripada FX 620, just install ke sini. But I haven't tried it yet. Berkemungkinan juga perlu sedikit modification lah since I'm not sure if the socket uh, ni sama di previous model sama atau pun tidak ok so cara uh, pairing this RC sama remote is quite simple so first step is kita masukkan dulu baterinya ke dalam aircraft ni this is the battery ok we can just slide it in Okay, and then masukkan ke dalam. Close it. That's it. So, as for the remote control, you need a tiga biji bateri, dua, I mean tiga biji bateri double A, one point five volt. So, this one, this two. So now the battery is already installed on both RC and the aircraft. So macam mana cara pairing? Okay, talking about pairing, the technology yang orang pasang arah this aircraft is not macam RC dulu dulu, yang mana frekuensinya boleh terkacau with other remote control. So for this one, no worries. Okay, before you guys play, you need to pair atau macam bis kita pairing. Uh, mobile with your laptop so, macam tu lah kira pairing mode so the first step what you need to do is the throttle ini push it down to the maximum uh, downwards and then turn on the switch arah aircraft and then you will see the LED blinking alright and then turn on the switch arah the remote control so now it's going to pairing mode so what can do next is adjust the turtle ni up and down all right going up going down going up okay so it's already turned on so that's how you pair this remote control and uh, the aircraft so other than that uh, as I said before, this one, this aircraft is made up of EV piston form. So basically, yeah, tahan lah kalau sekiranya tak, tak macam mana kah? Macam mana kah tu ya? Okay. And then, because ya yeah, di, di depannya ni ada nose bumper. Right? This one is like very flexible. So kalau sekiranya tak tak, it will reduce the impact lah. And then, the material itself is EV piston form. It is very durable. Where you can bend the wing ni. Like say like this. All right, you can bend it as much as you want, or you can bend it downwards. I don't know if you can see it. All right, see, you can just bend it. It's very flexible. All right, and I guess that's it, lah. 
So when you compare this one, somebody previous model FX enam dua kosong, as you can see di sini, this is the FX lapan dua kosong. The previous model that we have last time is the FX enam dua kosong. Okay, let me show you. So this is the FX enam dua kosong, right? Both are made up of the same material, easy to assemble form. Both can be bendable. Okay, and ada juga nose bomb di depan. Okay, the only difference is I don't know if you guys can see clearly. The size is quite smaller compared to the FX lapan dua kosong. As you can see like this, you can see the wingspan. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly in there, but honestly, the the size is quite smaller lah the FX lapan dua kosong. Oh, the camera doesn't do any justice lah. So anyway. Uh, the wingspan for the previous model is quite smaller and then you can see the thickness here okay the thickness of the previous model is quite thin compared to yang baru yang baru ni tabal sedikit okay and the battery untuk uh, FX820 is much more bigger daripada FX620 the, the FX620 ni the battery itself is uh, rated at uh, 3.7 volt 200 milliamp hour, so the capacity is quite small. Yang mana yang baru ni, it is equipped with 3.7 volt, 300 milliamp hour. So the maximum flight time is quite longer lah, and some more the weightnya pun bertambah, and the size ataupun besar juga. So that is why they need to have a bigger battery, right? So kalau bis kita akan membeli, don't do not hesitate to text us or WhatsApp us at 8366019, right? WhatsApp kami di 8366019. Alright.